This video will show you how to insert and edit text in Microsoft Word. So to start off with, I'm going to show you how you can do this on the desktop and web app versions as the process is more or less the same. So I've opened up Microsoft Word here and I've created a new document for myself. You'll see I've navigated to the home tab where my text formatting options are. So formatting means to change the look of your text. Here are all my options here up the top and I'm going to go through some of the most well used options here. So when I click here on my document and if I type in some text, I'm just going to type in my heading here which will be my CBA. So if I press enter here, it will give me a new line and I'm going to do that again. I'm going to type in some text for my document. The text will read, this is a document about my CBA. Once I'm happy with my text in the document, I'm going to format it. So let's change the look of it. First of all, you have some font options here. You can choose from a whole range of fonts to change the appearance of your text. You can choose your size. So if we go from 12 to 20, it will appear bigger on the page. So let's say this is bigger text. We can see the difference there. If we press enter here and give ourselves a new line. We can also bold our text. This means that the text will appear heavier on the page. You can choose italics as well. This means the text will slant off to one side. So this is also italic bold text. But if we turn off those two options, we can underline our text. So you can see here, this is underlined text. Some other options available to us are to highlight the text or to change the color of the text. So if I click this little drop down arrow, you can see there's a whole range of colors I can choose from. I'm just gonna choose red here for the time being. These options here will be left aligned text, centered text, or right aligned text. So for example, for a heading, you might choose centered text. And you'll see I have underline and red text active here and I've typed in heading one. Press enter to give myself a new line and I have now chosen left align. The options above that are for bullet points or you can choose number points as well. So once I press enter there, it'll give me another bullet point. So you'll see there are other options available here to us, but these are the most important that I went through. So let's take a look at what this looks like on the iPad. So I've switched across to the iPad here, and if I just navigate to Microsoft Word, I have opened a new document here. So you can see I'm on the Home tab again, and we're starting to see some very familiar options available to us here. The first of these is the font options, so we can choose all of our available fonts. The size box to change the font size. We've got bold, we've got italic, underline, and we've got some other formatting options here, such as straight through, subscript, superscript, etc. Another option available to us is to highlight text. So if we click on that little button, it'll give us some options to highlight text. I'm just gonna first type in some text here. So we'll say this is highlighted text. And then if we just highlight that with our mouse and we press the highlight button and yellow, that will give us a yellow highlighted color. Some other options, our font color is here, our bullets, our numbering points, and we also have some left align, right align, and center options like on the desktop app. So you can see there are some very similar options to what's on the iPad, but slightly less complicated.